By the way, the giveaway is still going on for the PS4. All you have to do is be a subscriber and leave a comment and let me know why you'd like to win. I'll also leave a link in the description so you can have additional ways to win. What's up everybody, it's me E-Man from E-Man's Movie Reviews. We finally got a trailer earlier today for Wonder Woman 1984, which is actually a sequel to the previous Wonder Woman movie. Um, I can't wait to actually check this out because, you know, there have been a lot of rumors about the sequel. Um, I think it's supposed to take place in the Cold War, so obviously this is going to be like in the 1980s. There have also been rumors about Steve Trevor coming back from the dead. Spoiler alert, if you haven't seen Wonder Woman already, um, I guess I, I'm wondering if the trailer is going to show us how that happens or why that happens. Um, not really sure, but either way, I am excited to see what this trailer has to offer. So let's get into it. My life hasn't been what you probably think it has. We all have our struggles. Have you ever been in love? A long, long time ago. You? So many times. Yeah, all the time. <laughs> I like this little 80s vibe. Welcome to the future. Life is good, but it can be better. And why shouldn't it be? All you need is to want it. Think about finally having everything you always wanted. I can save today, but you can save the world. in return. Everyone will see. Yeah, that's got it. from lies and great this is not what you think Just the trash can. It's just a trash can. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Hey, that was. Hey, that was pretty good. What? Was she lassoing through some lightning bolts? I mean, that that's some real goddess type of stuff right there. That's pretty cool. I. I don't know if that fits any law of physics at all, but <laughs> I have never seen someone lasso some lightning bolts and Tarzan swing from them suckers. That that's some cool stuff. I'm gonna give you that. Okay, there. All right, let's see. Um, there's a lot in this trailer to really sink our teeth into. Okay, so Steve is back, um, or you know, Trevor is back. Like, how did he come back? I mean, I, maybe that's something for the movie to explain. I wonder if he's, like, even real. Could he be, like, some... I mean, clearly some magic is going on because uh, um, my man Pedro Pascal's got, like, some magic stone rock thing or something. Is it granting people's wishes or something? I don't know. But initial impression, I like this trailer. It's a good, solid trailer. Um, it showed us everything I think that is compelling enough for a Wonder Woman um, trailer. You got the action scenes are in there. 
Um, you got a little bit of humor, nothing too crazy. It, I like the idea of us, you know, revisiting uh, Themyscira a little bit. This is a pretty good trailer. I, I like it. I'm ready to see this. Now, there are a couple things that I do want to kind of go back and look at in the trailer that caught my eye. So uh, let's start off with a little quick breakdown. So it's kind of interesting. It looks like even after Steve has died, um, she's been going back to his ranch or something. Uh, judging from this picture or whatever, uh, it looks like, you know, she's maybe even been wearing his shirts. I don't know. Something weird. But whatever. She clearly still has feelings for him. And, uh, you know, she's, you know, taking pictures and just kind of reminisced about it. And I'm assuming that's also his watch. So, um, you know, she's holding on to dear memories. Now, I was a little, now, I will admit, I was a little skeptical when they cast uh, Kristen Wiig to play uh, Barbara uh, Minerva, or AKA Cheetah. For those of you that don't know, they have like this, it depends on which iteration you want to look at, but I'm assuming what they're going with this uh, movie they're going to have them be kind of like friends or close associates or whatever. Maybe, you know, Minerva looks up to Wonder Woman, whatever it is. Um, and then she like feels betrayed or she starts to hate her. I don't know. Whatever the case is, they become enemies and she turns into Cheetah. I'm glad that this trailer does not show us what Cheetah looks like. I'm nervous though because... The last time we had a CGI character in a Wonder Woman movie, it was not looking all that hot. I'm sorry, I am. I was not a fan of Ares. I thought the CGI was terrible in that in that whole fight scene at the end. Um, I just hope that DC like cleans this up. Um, Warner Brothers tightens this up and cleans it up a little bit uh, in terms of the visuals for Cheetah. I don't know what they're gonna look like. I personally don't even think we should see it in the next couple of trailers hopefully they don't get all spoilery with it um but i do like the fact that they're showing her and you know it seems like she's set up for a nice transition from like a a shy bashful person into probably like this crazy aggressive counterpart and become hopefully a formidable villain for wonder woman so we'll see what happens Definitely loving this whole 80s vibe and everything. And I'm assuming that Pedro Pascal is actually going to play Maxwell Lord. I think that's like the common theory that's going out now anyway. Um, Maxwell Lord is a very interesting character. I wouldn't say he's like a Lex Luthor type, but he's kind of like a business guy who, you know, rallies all the heroes together from the comics. And then later on, he does something where he like turns on them and... um if I recall correctly in the comics, like Wonder Woman ended up like killing him. And then that caused her to have like this huge rift amongst the other Justice League members. Um, I don't think that that exactly is going to, you know, play out in this movie. But um, it would be interesting if they do include him um, in this movie and then maybe in later justice league or wonder woman three or whatever whenever it catches up to present time uh we see maxwell lord again but whatever stuff he's dealing with i mean we just saw this magic rock or whatever that he's holding on to clearly that's going to be the key that uh drives i think all of this stuff so my guess is that that's what brings uh trevor back um it might be what affects uh minerva uh, to transform her into cheetah so maybe this is a magic wish granting rock don't know um we are dealing with wonder woman and she is like a greek goddess and so clearly magic of some sort exists in this reality and we'll just have to see but i think that'll be the extent of his character but again we'll have to wait and find out now i'm not gonna lie that scene where she like literally cocks the gun and like <laughs> back smacks the bullet that's pretty dope i really hope that this trailer did not show us too many of the cool scenes like i really like that uh whole action sequence in the first um wonder woman movie you know where she was like going through the slow-mo actions and all that stuff that was really cool so i'm glad that they're doing it again in this sequel but my goodness like that's 
that's a pretty slick move. You know, I didn't even know Wonder Woman was that fast. But I'm if you gonna show me this and a little bit more, I'm on board. All right, looks like uh, Wonder Woman and Steve are in this jet. I'm assuming she's gonna be in the uh, invisible jet. So maybe we get that call that that classic callback from the comics, and you know, we she might have an invisible jet. Where she gets it from, I don't know. But whatever, we might get it. Like I said, I am so here for them going back to Themyscira. Like, that was one thing that I actually really liked about the first Wonder Woman movie was the fact that we actually got to go there and see kind of their way of life. I kind of wish we had spent more time with them just so we can really get a deeper look at who the Amazons are and what they do and how that contributes to Wonder Woman's life and her character. Um, so I'm, 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 I'm liking the idea that we're going back now. I don't know if this is going to be via flashback or if she actually can go back. Cause if I recall, I think she was banned from the Island. I don't know. Um, I don't remember, but either way, I'm glad that we can still get some more glimpses into her past or just into that other culture and just kind of see what they have to offer because they do have their own secrets and stuff too. So it'd be kind of interesting to see like what little new information we can find out. There have been similarities between Wakanda Forever and Wonder Woman doing her thing, you know. But come on now. Did it occur to anyone else that her little action sequence with the cars on the highway was kind of similar to Black Panther doing his little card flip thing. I, I'm just saying. I'm just, I, I'm just saying. It's kind of similar. Just saying. Yo, I'm sorry. That that swinging from the lightning bolt is dope. That's some cool stuff. I've never seen that. Didn't even know it was physically possible, but whatever. Um, that's pretty dope. I like it. Yo, I don't know what's going on with this gold yellow suit. Uh, it's looking wild. <laughs> I mean, clearly she's got some power up upgrade going on here. Um, but I, hey, all right. I guess we'll see what what this I don't know golden suit can do. What do you think about it? Because this is a lot of gold. <laughs> it's just wow. But anyway. Those are my thoughts on the uh, Wonder Woman 1984 trailer. What did you all think about it? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to think. Or if there were like some other Easter eggs or any other uh, additional information I might not have covered. Please share them down below in the comments so we could talk about it. That's all I got for today. Thank you so much for joining me guys. I always appreciate it. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I've got a ton of reviews and videos to do for you all, and until next time, I'll see you all later.